Hello. You all look so familiar. It feels so long. It's been, what, two weeks? That's like 12 years in internet terms. Certainly given enough for my stubble to grow. But I think I remember you. You're the decoders. Hello decoders, decode this. I'm still finding it hard to believe that the past two weeks have occurred. Um, yeah, so I was in Miami. This is the kind of thing that I'm still trying to get my head around. Simply being, I haven't left the country in about 10 years, so this had a lot going for me because this was like a big major trip for me, and I mean major. And pretty much the way there could be summarized in three words. The strange thing with Miami is that I had to make changes to my flights out only 24 hours before I was meant to fly out because thanks to the people that went on strike in Spain, I thank you. The flight was just fantastic. It certainly takes a while to get back into those habits and it was just off the charts. So I was flying out to Philadelphia then I had to go to Miami because of the changes. If you had the trip to California for VidCon later this year, I'm pretty much doing the Will Smith thing this year. God, it looks beautiful out there. Been in Miami for about eight hours now. Um, I slept for as long as I could, but uh, I'm just excited now. Such a beautiful sight out there. The trees, the skyline. Let's eat. Uh, the one thing that first took me by surprise was the heat. I'm certainly not used to it. Okay, I've only been out for about 30 minutes uh, just to do a walk around and already I'm exhausted. Lauren Field, Saul, Sama, how do you cope with this heat? I, I got myself this brownie cookie, which looks very delicious. Yum. The one thing I never get used to about the US is the notes, and that's mainly because they're all the same color. I think the one thing that'd be awesome is if the US dollar system like inherited the colors of like Canada and the UK. Rainbow money everywhere. Just finished uh, Mockingjay uh, by Susan Collins, so I've now read all the Hunger Games. Um, I don't know, I, I just don't know if I feel happy or sad about the ending. It just feels like it just isn't enough. But then the next thing that took me by surprise, aside from the ending of Mockingjay and the heat, was the scale of Miami. Now, I'm a person who's been to London on multiple occasions, but yet, the city does not feel that big, and I think I can put it down to one thing. It's down to the underground. The underground just makes everything all there, plus all the major stuff is all in the centre area of London, where with Miami, everything is spaced out. If you want to go to certain places, you have to take a few miles around. And this is probably the, one of the first times where I feel that learning to drive is actually a lot more important, and I think it's more encouraging, especially since when I went to Miami. Even that, or Miami could inherit an underground, even though, yes, I realise that there's water underneath, but think about it, you could have an underground that has fish surrounding you. Now that has its perks. But I can't criticise Miami, it had a very good monorail system that was going around completely free, it had free Wi-Fi, so certainly spent my time sitting on that a lot. Right, I'm just about to meet up with Kim. Uh, been interesting trying to find her, it's a bit like playing Where's Wally. Um, so a lot of the information that she's been giving me is something great, so I'm just going to meet him now. Compona for it. Okay, I'm just coming up to Sharpies, which I was told to meet her at. Where is she? Where is she? Ah, there she is. You and your directions! This is a person who got me lost in Miami. <laughs> because I would go one way and then she would tell me to go another. So we met up and we went to the Hyatt Regency, which was a nice hotel, although there was a few little drawbacks which I'll draw upon later. Biggest one being is that you had to pay for the Wi-Fi and it's like, no thank you. So, spent many of my days sitting outside Starbucks and McDonald's, a trait I've certainly picked up thanks to my American friends. 